So I'm looking around at this place that you recommended I buy for my parents. Well, no, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about the fact that I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for some local who's supposed to help me pull a pump out of the water or something. No, I, I'm sure his name is Richard. Just, just call that asshole and tell him that I'm waiting, okay? Looks like you could use a hand. You must be Richard. I'm here to close the cottage. You must be the new owner. Looks like it. Old man threw in the canoe too, did he? Looks like it. Yeah. Nice guy. The uh, lake's really gonna miss him. Sam. These hands have not seen an honest day's work in their entire lives. Okay. Hard work deserves a reward. Oh, no, you'll pay me when we're finished. But we should drink a beer. There's no beers in the fridge. You're closing the cottage. I can guarantee you that there's two beers in that fridge. If there's any beer in the fridge, it's yours. It's ours. This is how we do it in Muskoka. We recognize that this is the traditional territory of the Ashinaabe, specifically the Chippewa, Ojibwe, and Potawatomi. This doesn't exist. There's none of it without the sacrifices these people made. No water trampolines, no sea nothing. So we sold it to you as is. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to deal with all this junk. Oh, this isn't junk, Sam. This is history. Pure cottage energy. You're blessed to have it. I wouldn't change a thing. I am going to use the John, though. Look, Sam, you're new to this, so I'm going to tell you something my guru told me, okay? Every once in a while, you just need to stop and give life a minute. Look, okay? Richard, I really need to Derek. get back. Excuse me? The name is Derek. You look like a guy who lives to work. Up here, we work to live. So if you just allow yourself a moment to relax and have a drink, might be easier for you to hear a little bad news. What bad news? This isn't your cottage to close. I think you should leave. You don't take possession until midnight, at least not officially. How do you know that? Mother told me. My father was the man who sold you this place, and sadly, he did not have the right to do that. Well, your father took my money, and he gave me the deed, and he gave me the keys, so... You've got the keys. You've got the deed. But I have this. What the fuck is that? This is a magic monkey's paw. A magic monkey's paw? Like that dumbass story with the three cursed witches? Let me break it down for you. 
I had just dropped out of the communications program at Humber College and I was lost, spiritually impotent. So I followed in the footsteps of George, John, and Ringo. And it was in Gujarat where I met the fakir who would change my life. He was standing on a street corner selling his wares and he saw me, he called me over. He could tell that I was lost, that I was searching for something. It was the monkey paw. And with this monkey paw, I made a wish. Do you want to know what that wish was, Sam? I wish that my family would own this cottage until the day I died. This place isn't yours, and it will never be. Let me see the monkey paw. I just want to see it. It's interesting. I wish this Burning Man idiot would leave my cottage. Hey, don't touch me. Your wish won't work. It's not your monkey paw. You know what? Fuck this. Get out or I call the cops. You're going to call the cops? Yeah. I think this signal is a little weak. I noticed that the phone lines were down when I was here earlier to, uh, cut your canoe rope. Old man threw in the canoe too, did he? You're, you're upset. Take it up with your father or something. We're not on speaking terms anymore. He doesn't agree with certain lifestyle decisions I've made. I got money. I got 80, 80, 80, 80, 84. You're not listening to me. I don't want money. I, how about the canoe? You want the canoe? The canoe. It reminds you of all the fond times you had here, paddling around. You can take it. It's yours. Just please leave. Take it. I mean, it is a, it's a nice canoe. It's beautiful. Or maybe there's something else here that you want. What, look around, take anything. Anything. Come on, maybe something on the mantelpiece. Like, um, do you like maybe this nice lamp? Or um, how about this, this dog here? Taco? Yeah, taco. Just take Taco and remember all the good times you had here. You know, the place will always be alive inside your heart if you have Taco by your side. You know? It's not over, yeah. you know? Dude, I think you got this. You'll be good, okay? Great. Come on, dude, what the fuck? Oh, even in your world of financial structure, I'm entitled to six more hours here. Fine, enjoy your final six hours here, because I'm gonna tear this shithole down and build a fucking monster cottage. You wouldn't dare. Try me, Derek. I had a real good year. Maybe I'll have you over sometime. You can watch my CD. You are a capitalist fucking pig. Listen to me. I may have bought this place with money, but I bought it for my family. I'm not like you who thinks it's owed through heredity. You're worse than a capitalist. You're like some sort of failed fucking aristocrat. I don't think I'm owed it through heredity. I'm owed it through this. You monster. <laughs>
And with this monkey paw, I made a wish. Do you want to know what that wish was, Sam? <laughs>